Hi, I'm Mike Stanton. This is the BAM Weekly Muni Market Update for October 4th here with David Young from BAM's Capital Markets Desk out in San Francisco. David, thanks for taking some time. Thanks for having me, Mike. So a couple of big uh, uh, macroeconomic numbers, uh, none bigger in the month than the unemployment report, which came out this morning. What did we learn and how are the markets reacting? Yeah, so today uh, the very, very strong U.S. jobs report came out. Um, we saw non-farm uh, payrolls at 254,000. That's versus a 150,000 expected. Um, additionally, we got some unemployment rate uh, numbers, and that came in at 4.1% versus an expected 4.2%. And so had, uh, that sparked a stock market rally, a sell-off in the treasury market anyway. Any, uh, any move in munis yet, or is that something we're going to see play out uh, over the next week? Yeah, I'll start with the treasuries. Uh, right now, we're looking at 10-year treasuries. Um, they're about 20 basis points higher at a 396. Um, and the 30 year treasuries are uh, 14 basis points higher at a 425. Um, you know, when we look at our industry, of course, uh, munis are on pace to outperform this week. Uh, you know, the 10 year BVAL is about only one basis point higher at a 262. And the 30 year is four basis points higher at a 350, uh, 354. So we, again, we are seeing some outperformance. Um, you know, it's kind of just been uh, uh, more of the same, really, of all of the year. Uh, we, we keep thinking supply is going to uh, kind of bring us back to higher yields, but it's just really not happening. Yeah, we'll see. I mean, it's not uncommon for the muni market to lag a, a significant move in treasuries by a couple of days. So early next week will probably be telling. But it's a great point you raise. Uh, we did get some more uh, fund flows and just kind of fundamental uh, technical demand data uh, this week. Um, I noticed that Lipper, which reports on a weekly basis, showed nearly $2 billion of inflows uh, this week. And we're going to show a chart here of ICI, which is a slightly broader universe, slightly more delayed time frame. But it shows you know, over a billion dollars uh, for uh, pretty much every uh, week in the month of September. Uh, year to date inflows about $25 billion. So a really strong investor support eating up that supply, as you mentioned. Yeah. And uh, I was actually looking back at some of the data from Lipper. Um, I think going back to maybe 2009, um, we're looking at one of the, um, let's say, top five, top 10 um, uh, in terms of net inflows for the year. Obviously, we're it's still year to date that we're seeing, but, um, you know, we're, we're still tracking and on pace to be uh, uh, one of the higher net inflow years. It'll be interesting to see again, like a lot of those, uh, we believe that a lot of those retail uh, investors were motivated by the idea of locking in rates before they move lower due to Fed rate cuts. Uh, this morning's unemployment report puts that uh, a little bit more into question. So we'll see if that gets uh, sustained going forward. But let's talk about some of the new issue activity this week. Uh, another heavy uh, 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 week on the calendar. Uh, how much did you see come to market and uh, what stood out from the BAM world? Yeah, so we saw about $13 billion, uh, come to market this week. Uh, you know, a billion, about a billion of Northwell Health uh, in New York led the way. Um, I do want to mention, because I am on BAM's Capital Markets Desk, that that is a name that uh, we approved and have secondary capacity on. Um, in good terms point. of uh, going back to the primary, uh, for BAM, we had a really, really good week, really strong week. Uh, we had uh, insured 21 transactions, about 500 million a par. Um, there, are, there are three uh, transactions that I do want to highlight. Uh, the first one being a $99 million Canyons Metro District, number five in Colorado. That's with Piper Sandler. And I know you wanted that one to be, you know, over $100 million. <laughs> uh, there's a $50 million Milwaukee Geo in Wisconsin that we got used on in the competitive space by JP Morgan. So, you know, we always like to see that. Um, and then the last transaction I'd like to mention is the $50 million Hines County in Mississippi. And that was with Raymond James. And looking ahead to next week, uh, another slightly light, uh, slightly lighter overall calendar, but uh, some interesting transactions. What, uh, what are you watching? Yeah, so we see about $10 billion for next week. Um, you say slightly lighter, but, you know, this year, that, that's really, it does feel light for this year, um, especially the last few months. Um, so $10 billion on the calendar next week. And then for BAM, uh, the one that I want to highlight is the $116 million University of Arizona uh, transaction with Morgan Stanley. Great. Well, thanks for your time this week, David. Uh, we'll talk to you soon. All right. Thanks, Mike.